hello welcome to this channel my mood today is down because this video is about something really serious i saw a post last night on instagram where the black stars of ghana were training at the international stadium abuja when the nepa how we call it that's the most popular name it has been changed from nepa to power holdings company of nigeria many years ago but two nigerians have refused to let go of the name nepa last night i saw a video a video clip on instagram where the black stars of ghana were training ahead of the return march to nigeria which is supposed to happen today being tuesday or we saw that there was light off at the stadium i went some random you know just I just went on all the blog and then tried to read the minds of Nigerians and then see what they think about what happened at the stadium. But as usual, I am not surprised. Uh, they were training for too much. They refused to leave the stadium. That is why, I mean, their time had expired. They refused to leave the stadium, the training ground. That was why Nepal sees light on them. They put off the lights so that they can just uh, get out and go to their hotel's room and sleep already. This is just a few one. Like I read a lot of comments that uh, I like. Oh my God, I'm shaking my head. Why can't we, for once, prove that all that the world has been thinking and saying about us are all fake? They are all fake news. All the videos that I in particular have made here on youtube and a host of other nigerian content creators have made regarding the situation of the country like why can't the nigerian government just try for once prove us wrong and put us to shame especially me i would have been so glad to be disgraced for once about all these things so that Ghanaians. And the entire world would think that all I have been saying about God bless my country, Nigeria, is a lie. Just that they, 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 didn't, they couldn't prove it. It hurts so bad. Like, it hurts so bad. And some of you this will be at my comment section leaving all kinds of hateful attacks. Attacking comments, you know, name calling and all what have you, like down in people comment section who comes out to criticize the behavior here i have said that there is no electricity some nigerian people that have been watching my video they've been trying to make me look like something is wrong with me or probably is because i live in a village this place is not a village this place is actually a very old town like this part of the country where i live is one of the major towns here more than five local governments this town is the headquarter yet there is no electricity for a very long time some of us have taken to our social media handles like me I have come here on my channel to talk about this i have complained i have lamented i have you know cried out for help about this electricity thinking that maybe something will be done about it yeah some of you will not leave my comment section alone you'll be there attacking me you lie why will you say there's no light oh, now that power holdings company of nigeria has proven me right don't you think you're supposed to apologize to me right now down at the comment section if you don't want to apologize it's okay i totally understand it but why can't we take advantage of what we have to prove the international community is wrong about us for once a light off happened a lot of things that have come to the mind of people right now on the minds of so many people is that oh those scammers they have started again they want to scam ghana they want to play a fast one on ghana uh, on the black stars team so that they can they can win so even when we win on merit it's going to be seem like we tricked the black stars 
to win them out there what is that going to add to your reputation as a people that is already known for for trickish behavior according to the word not me so why can't we for once do what is right for once so we have to support everything just because it is done by our people but what i don't understand is why buari keep allowing people to sabotage his government all the time i don't know why are they trying to tell me now that they do not know that is power holding do not know that there will be training going on in stadium against today are they trying to tell nigerians that are they trying to tell us that they didn't know that the black stars of ghana are in town and when a football team is in town is in a city what they are supposed to do is they are going to train ahead of the match okay fine let's say our nigerian team can play in the dark because we are used to it we can use our candles to play the to train but the black stars are not used to that we were in ghana on friday nothing happened nobody complained about anything there was no problem no pain nothing was done against us over there in ghana we ended up at a draw and now it's their turn to return the match here at home we are supposed to use this opportunity to prove that we are good people i find that has happened already let's move forward to what i think i personally personally from my own tiny parts of the world here i think that the national football association of nigeria should tender an apology to the ghanaian football association that is just fair enough like that is fair that is fair for all the stress they have gone through they should take responsibility for what happened I mean, if I'm the president of Nigeria, I would have apologized to the whole world for what had, for what happened at the studio in my country. I would have apologized. And the next step I'm going to take, if I was the president, is to get, get the minister of power sacked. I will fire him and make it known to the whole world that I have fired him. So the next time he's not going to bring me international disgrace but how do i keep allowing people to sabotage his government is what i don't understand yeah like he, he he wants to do the right thing but people are doing the left 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 opposite people working with him for him under him that are supposed to help implement some of these things to make life good and help rebrand the image of nigeria are the people sabotaging him and then you guys will leave all those people alone you will come here and blame some of us yeah i think that he should apologize to the whole world and also fire the minister of power and seal next time nobody is gonna repeat that kind of mistake and another thing again if if it's me Oh, there's this song by Two Faced that say, if if to say not just me, if it's me, like if I have the power, I will cancel the match and reschedule it so that the black stars and the super ego can continue their training until they are comfortable enough to go face to face each other. When we do all these things, we don't think of what is gonna the international embarrassment is going to bring on our people especially our people in diaspora they suffer these things the most you and i the village champions are here in nigeria chilling and just living life the way we see it but there are our people out there there are nigerians people all over the world working so hard trying their best abiding by the laws of the countries they are in yet our bad behavior back home is bringing shame to them and causing them so much over there but you village anyway some of you will never travel anyway but you'll be at my comment section exercising your low self-esteem issues down there whoever wins this thing wins it and then whoever loses takes it in good faith now if anything goes wrong which i don't pray for 
today who are we going to blame the black stars will feel like oh if they had given if they have been given enough um, time to play to train maybe they would have done better also but i wish them the very best i wish they win to compensate for all the stress they have been put through that is not to say i'm not supporting the nigerian super ego i am in support of whoever wins between nigeria and ghana is a win-win for us for me in particular because yeah both countries to me are like my like i feel like i belong to both country anyone that wins i win anyone that lose i lose you can see um leave your thoughts down in the comment section and for those of you that are coming to you know argue it's okay feel free to argue do that respectfully okay because recently i have been going deep into the mods i have thrown away class i'm now going deep into the mods to feed those that want to drag me there to drag everybody and feed them with the mods so please if you want to leave a comment do so respectfully okay don't forget that this is my thought absolutely mine and i'm entitled to it so if you want to give yours do so respectfully down in the comment section i'm wishing super eagles of nigeria and the black stars of ghana all the best in this match i'll see you guys in my next video bye